good, boys. A few wheel of mutts ago, I dropped 38 points and my opponent quit. And recently I started a new incentive. Belobius has kindly been guarding these $1,000 boxes of Panini Immaculate Collegiate Football. And I said, if I ever drop 40 points, I'll open one of these bad boys. I'll give away every card and we'll keep one player for the team. Now, honestly, I thought 38, no one was going to let that slide, but I've been reading the comments. Everybody wants it to slide and I am happy to oblige. Today, we're going to open this box to kick this episode off. It's the first round of the playoffs. So what an awesome way to start it out. I won't waste your time. Let's dive in. There are six cards in this box. It could be NFL legends. It could even be players that are still in college. In fact, there's a chance that not a single player in this entire thing even helps my team. Here's the box in all its glory. And now you get to see actually a second seal check here inside the box looks like this. So that's like the second seal. I'm gonna let you guys see the very first card just in case it's something crazy. Usually in these, the first card is the least rare. So I'm not going to go crazy about it. From here, I can actually see the color red. Is that fucking Lamar? <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Oh my God. It's a Louisville Lamar Jackson. There's no way I beat this. It doesn't matter what I pull after this. There's no way I beat that. It's a L fucking Louisville Lamar Jackson. Bro, Lamar Jackson has a cover athlete. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Take a look at the team right now. For three straight episodes, I've been saying we need a quarterback. Dak's not gonna cut it. I already have Gronk and Ray Lewis cover athlete. And now Lamar, who's probably gonna win NFL MVP and get an absurd 98 or 99 overall card. He already has the fucking cover athlete. Wait a minute. 94 overall limited collector's edition Lamar Jackson right here. He has trusts an ability? Oh my God, I can't beat that. Dude, I was honestly worried that I was gonna get like Quinn Ewers and instead we get Louisville Lamar Jackson. All right, so the very first card, and by the way, of course, we're giving this away. So it's a, like I said, the first one's the least rare. It's a 63 of 99 Louisville Lamar Jackson. Honestly, a sick card still. Number two. Oh my God. God, this is fucking sick. I mean, like, once again, this is what I was scared of. I was scared of players like this that aren't even Madden. Roger Staubach, is that how you say his name? He went to Navy. That is a 5 of 25 Staubach Navy with the jersey. I mean, look at the Navy. Get the logo on the back. That's a really, really unique card. I know one of you guys is gonna absolutely love that. Hey, you know what? I don't know if he ever got an updated card, but this is a pretty cool one. This would help the team if we were really in a pinch. Georgia Darnell Washington. It's got the signature. It is a stick-on signature. So I know those stick-on signatures aren't as uh, rare, but 11 of 49, Darnell Washington, Georgia. Sick looking card. Always love to get a Georgia guy. He's a massive tight end. Look who's next, man. Look who's next. Now, I think Dallas Clark, I think Dallas Clark does have a card in this game. I think he has a legend. Dallas Clark, tight end university, University of Iowa, Immaculate Inc. Hawkeyes. This is another stick-on auto. So we probably have a really nasty auto still waiting for us, but University of Iowa, Dallas Clark. Holy shit. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Rookie patch auto. Jackson Smith in Jigba, Ohio State. This is sick. Woo! This is the coolest one by far. This is the coolest one that we pulled by far. 42 of 99 Ohio State University, Jackson Smith and Jigba Buckeyes. Once again, it's a sticker auto, which is a bummer. Damn, that's a sick card. Now see, Jackson Smith and Jigba definitely has nice cards in Madden. So if Lamar wasn't like the most goaded way to start this, this would have been a nice option, but it's very clear that I have to go with Lamar. And the sixth and final card of this opening. He's an Arizona State Sun Devil. I've, I'm gonna be honest. I've never heard of this guy. It's another rookie. It's a patch auto. It is Zazavian Valade. That's a hell of a name. I, 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 dude, I don't know a thing about this guy. And I mean, I'm here in Arizona, so maybe I should know my Sun Devils. Zazavian Valade in four seasons at Wyoming. He had two 1,000 yard rushing campaigns. He went to Arizona State, logged 1,200 yards and 16 touchdowns during his one season with the Sun Devils. Sick. All right. Pretty dope name. I kind of thought Zavian would be enough of a name, but they just went with the Zazavian. That's box one. And hey, Belobius is still guarding box number two. So we're not even done quite yet, but we get Zazavian Valade, Jackson Smith and Jigba, Dallas Clark, Darnell Washington, two tight ends is kind of funny. And then we get two quarterbacks as well with Roger Staubach. And of course, the most important pull was the least rare pull, Lamar Jackson. Okay, I will say though, here's the only problem. Lamar's at 3.2 mil. I actually, I 
can't afford the 94 Lamar. Can we have a moment of silence for MM Broke, though? I have like 15 million coins tied up in my team right now, and I can't afford this Lamar. At least not the 94. I can get the 93. Dude, and all the, all the coin selling websites this year are total scams. So I, I actually am cucked here. And they removed the trade block, so it's not like I can even buy them on my pack and play and then trade them over. And boys, Lions Rams this Sunday, the playoff game. I'm going to the game. I made a prize pick for the game. It's Amon Ra and Cooper Cup to go more on their receiving yards. There's a link in the description to download prize picks. They're my daily fantasy sports sponsor. If you use the promo code MMG, you'll get a deposit match up to $100. Make sure you download prize picks and enjoy the rest of the video. I'm gonna have to rock the 93 Lamar, but let's be honest, this was a completely free card by getting an insanely lucky pull in an immaculate box. This isn't even a wheel spin, so I'm perfectly fine taking the 93 Lamar here. Moment of silence for being poor. He is still a monumental upgrade on Dak Prescott. Let's just compare them side by side. It's honestly funny because the two quarterbacks behind Lamar and MVP voting were Josh Allen and Dak Prescott. And we're replacing Dak for Lamar right now. Six speed faster, more throw power, better accuracies other than deep. Where Lamar is minus one, minus two throw under pressure, four better on the run, four better play action, and then obviously he has significantly higher acceleration, agility, juke move, etc. And he He's definitely going to get better abilities since he's a 93 overall improviser. He should get Hot Route Master. This would be an insane prestige. Lamar would be an out of this world prestige. I hate prestige in quarterbacks. I feel like it it ruins the, it ruins the flow of Wheel of Mutt because it's fun to have a new quarterback every season, but damn. I mean, Lamar is guaranteed MVP. MVP always gets a 99 overall card. It would be the first 99 overall in the game and we'd have it on Wheel of Mutt. He has two unique abilities. There's Truss, cover athlete. There's run and gun cover athlete. Six plays on of run and gun. <sighs> That's nice, but I think I'd rather go Truz. Not fumbling is, is so clutch. So we can just run like an idiot for the first six plays. And then to reactivate it, you only got to rush for one plus yard six times. That's actually not that hard. So I don't hate this. And Mr. Lamar Jackson, you do not get Hot Rail Master? Well, he doesn't get Hot Rail Master. So you know what? We're just going to rock it the exact same way we rocked Dak, except he's way better. It's honestly nice now too, because now we have two running backs. I don't know. I mean, I like like Lamar Jackson, he's just not quarterbacky enough. You know, I'd prefer a guy like Brock Purdy. I want my quarterbacks to be quarterbacky. After everything Lamar Jackson has done in his career, y'all still get on these damn networks and say that the man isn't quarterbacky enough. I feel like Tanner McKee might be our guy. I'm gonna rock Gronk with mid in elite. I'm gonna take off his X Factor. So my X Factors will be Derrick Henry, Lamar Jackson, and I take it back. I am gonna keep Gronk's X Factor on. I'm actually gonna go with Vanguard. I'm gonna put Vanguard back on Gronk. Dominantly win impact blocks. For the first eight plays of the game, think about how diabolical this is. We'll have Vanguard on Gronk, we'll have angry runs on Derrick Henry, and we'll have Truss on Lamar Jackson. And on top of that, Lamar Jackson can still throw a dot to anybody on the field. For the first State plays will be a horrifying run game team. And then my opponents got to figure out what I'm doing after that. That's going to be really, really fun. So it's the first round of the playoffs. We need two wins. If we get those two wins without losing, we head to the Super Bowl. Nick Bosa still is the worst prestige I've ever made, but here's the saving grace. He made the Pro Bowl and the Niners are in the playoffs. There's always a playoffs promo. Every playoff team gets a player and the deeper they go in the playoffs, the more players they get. So Niners have a bye. They're guaranteed wildcard players and divisional players. How one of those can't be Nick Bosa it would be fucking mind-boggling. The guy's in the Pro Bowl. Whatever. I don't want to talk about it. I really don't want to fucking talk about it. All right, boys, our first wheel spin. This is the playoffs. So I only get two wheel spins, but the wheel is juiced. So it should be an absolute stud. And it certainly is going to be zero chill top 12. We can choose one player sorted by time remaining out of the first 12 we see in the Zero Chill promo. Our top 12 Zero Chill. I see 94 strong safety Bo Jackson. I see 93 Micah Parsons. Oh, jeez. Oh, and those are the only, those are really the only two good options. Everybody else is mid. 90, 90. Yeah, I want, a, I want 91 Ezekiel.
<laughs> if I wanted to wash up sack of shit, I'd go bang your mom again. Okay, here's the thing about 94 strong safety Bo Jackson. Love this card. It's a nasty card. My current strong safety is Kyle Hamilton, who's obviously incredible, but my current free safety is Derwin James playing out of position. This is a plus five speed on Derwin, plus six acceleration. The only thing I have to say is that I've never noticed. Derwin James has been my free safety. He's obviously outdated, but he's played great. I just feel like I don't know why I'd mess with this position. Now, on the other hand, Michael Parsons, I don't need an outside linebacker. My linebackers are amazing. But you know what I do need? I need a dominant edge rusher because my dominant edge rusher, Pro Bowl Nick Bosa, has one single card and it's an 86 overall. So if I get this Michael Parsons, I'm just instantly moving him to right end and rush right end and he's going to fly at the quarterback. Now, Micah Parsons makes Nick Bosa look like an actual fraud. This card is so much better. I would love limited Bo, but I'm in the playoffs. We got to make the smartest decision. I think the smartest decision is 93 overall Micah Parsons. This is a disgustingly good edge rusher. You can get swim club for one, edge threat for one, or speedster for one. I'll have to look at my defense, see how my abilities are used right now. I have to imagine this Mike is pretty good stock. I probably don't have to put anything on him. Let's go see where he fits into this team. One thing I'm really excited about, though, is a lot of players on my current Wheel of Mutt team also made the playoffs in real life. Lamar, Vita Vea, Mike Evans, Puka Nakua, Jordan Mailata, Panay Sewell, Kyle Hamilton. I will say at right end, Micah Parsons takes a pretty significant overall drop. Like, like, Technically, he's only two overall higher than Nick Bosa, but that's fucking hilarious. He has plus 11 speed, plus 12 acceleration. So Micah now rush right end. Will Anderson rush left end. Jalen Carter rush D tackle. Ray Lewis is still the sub backer. All right, boys, our final wheel spin for the wild card playoff game. First one's Micah Parsons. Hopefully we can keep up that trend, get another absolute stud. <sighs> Gosh, rerolls kind of suck this year. They do. But there's always a chance, boys. There's always a chance. Now, I will say the good thing about rerolls is there are Campus Heroes players now. Brand new promo. Haven't even... I literally have never opened a Campus Heroes pack as I'm recording this. So I don't know how these are. We're going to open 10 right here. Oh, same animation. You didn't even get a new animation for the second round, EA. I can't say I'm shocked. Um, Hjalte for Holt. Woo! Honestly, if I could get like a good budget middle linebacker to go in for Quay Walker, it'd be low key nice. Pack number four. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember if there's a different animation for a. I think there is. If you pull something nasty, I think there's a different animation. This is five, no nasty animation. You get an 85 fullback. This is six. Ooh. Wait, this is actually such a good pull. I don't have a backup D tackle. I have Ogbania Okoronkwo in there. That's a nasty pull. Brian Breesey, I think he's out of Clemson. He was just drafted this year. 92 block shed, 89 power moves. He's fast. He will be a very nice pair with Jalen Carter. I don't go into too many four down lineman sets, but I'll be very happy to have him when I do. So that's actually, that's a very good option. Assuming we don't pull something better. That was pack number six, which makes this number seven. This is pack number eight here. Brady Christensen, sorry, bud. You're not going to be our guy. Take me to pack number nine, where we get 80. There's an 85 Denzel Ward. All right, 10th and final pack. This should show you though, don't do a reroll. Oh, I could have bought Breezy off the auction house for so much less than these 10 shit rerolls. But, wow, they gave Joseph a Saya card. We got very lucky getting Brian Breezy there. That could have been an absolute wash, but this is a plus 15 at my D-tackle too. Super big upgrade right there. Very helpful for the D-line, and it takes this lineup to a 91 overall. Officially the most stacked Wheel of Mutt team we've ever had headed into the wild card. Moving forward, the things I'd like to improve. Yes, I think Derwin's getting a little outdated. I hate to admit it, but Derwin is getting outdated. Champ Bailey, obviously an 88 overall, is not going to cut it in the Super Bowl. Quay Walker could go. Luke Keekley could go. Offensively, I'd like better tackles, maybe a better right guard. But the rest of this offense is fucking dominant. And same with this defense. Ray Lewis, Harold Carmichael. It's a disgusting combo. And guess who got a potential prestige option? Was Jalen Petrie. Now, I don't get another prestige unless I make the Super Bowl. Jalen Petrie has a 95 overall limited campus heroes card. I would have two safeties on prestige. I guess he was a dog at Baylor. I never got to watch him, but 95 overall. Stats are pretty mid for 95 overall. How are you a 95 overall without a single 95? It's an EA. I'm no fucking magician here, but that shit does not add up to 95. All right, boys, the last thing before we start these playoffs is the challenge wheel. Playoffs challenge wheel is a little bit juiced. 
Ooh, we need the game's leading rusher. So whoever has the most rushing yards in the game, they gotta be on my team. We've got Lamar, we've got Derrick Henry. I don't think this is out of the question. Keep in mind, we are playing the All Madden playoffs so that we actually get the playoff logos on the field and it feels better. But that means it will be four minute quarters. Top three, baby, Ray Henry Grung. He's got Crowder, Ray, and Woodson. We definitely have the overall advantage, but he is in the playoffs. Oh my God, wait a minute, wait a minute. I take it all back. In All Madden regular season, season is four minute quarters in all Madden playoffs. It is five minute quarters. An immaculate box could happen today, boys. Got Ray Lewis with Avalanche. Let me see a run to Travis Etienne. Oh, is this an RPO? It's not. It's just a run. Downhill Lewis. No. Good move. Oh, no. Damn. Huge hit out of Hamilton, but Tariq Woolen got bounced. We're bottling this run. I don't want to see him run some bullshit again. Playing over the top. Come on. Two yards out of Barry. That's what we're looking for. I'm going to go with the blitz here. I think he's going to switch up for his first pass play of the game. What do you know, Matt? What do you know, Matt? Get in front of it! Christian Gonzo! Excellent defense! And he throws an interception! Gonzo in man coverage! He's such a beast! At the last second there, I think Luke Keekley or Micah Parsons was in his face. And it impacted his throw because that was open. He just didn't get it off as fast as he needed to. Alright, we're gonna start out with a run here. We're gonna go wide zone. Alright, we'll give it to Singletary. Get that edge. Get that edge, Singletary! Alright, second and one. It kind of looks like he's ready to stop the run here. And it kind of looks like I don't give a shit. Come here, Channing Crowder. I'll run your ass over. Seven yards out of Derrick Henry. I'm going fucking power football. If I if I don't throw a single pass, I will be happy. Thou shall not throw a pick in the wild card. Get fucked! Let's go! Second and one. Derrick Henry angry runs. I'm gonna send him straight at this DB. Oh my god! He guessed the left side run! He guessed the left side run! Oh my, I snapped that with about 0.2 left, and I flipped it with about 0.2 left. Freebie! Derrick Henry walks in. I hate to do this to a Lions fan, man, but it's gotta be done. Harrison, oh god, it's faster than fuck! Dude, my Harrison Bunker prestige, it was a nice prestige, but since he doesn't have the slow kick meter close, the PATs are actually hard as shit on all Madden. All right, let's wait and see what formation he comes out in. Single back wing tight, Nat. Dude, this guy wants to run the ball. I respect it. We got Keekly Carmichael Lewis. He's gonna go back to a run! And he was seconds away from eating an avalanche from Ray Lewis. Ow! Force it down your throat, Etienne! You're gonna like it! Second and ten. Back to pistol. This could be a pass. Dude, he's getting fucking nowhere. You need to throw the ball, buddy. I'm gonna guess pass, so hopefully Micah gets... Oh my god. Oh, nice play. Blocks down the middle! God, let's go! Christian Gonzalez! Shout out all my Mexicans out there. That's not a sentence you should be saying in your everyday life. What if Ray Lewis makes a play and I'm like, shout out? I'm not gonna say it. Fuck! I can't say that, bro. No! Inside zone again. Just to pick this up. Oh my god, I own you! Fourth and four! Okay, underneath Parsons, underneath Will Anderson. I don't know what he's able to throw here. The dig! Nothing! My god! I read you like a fucking book! You better not quit! You better not quit my playoffs! He got red, bro, and look at this! Vanguard Gronk on the left side. We can run at him. He'll get a dominant win on that block. He does. Derrick Henry goes for miles. A guaranteed broken four rushes, 46 yards. We currently have the leading rusher in the game. We have a seven point lead. We get the ball at half and we're in the red zone. All right, let's get the thumbnail, boys. Let's get the thumbnail right here, right now. Get the fuck off. He genuinely 100% can't stop the run. I'm not going to throw. I'm not going to throw a single pass today. Cut it up. Oh my God, it's free. <laughs> What a tackle. Can you believe he did that? I'm not mad about that. I thought there was no way that safety could possibly stop Derrick Henry. I still don't think you can stop this. Cut it up the middle. You can't, you can't overcommit. Let's go. Let's go, Henry. Damn. 13-0. Derrick Henry's got two touchdowns. Fair to say we have the leading rusher. First and 10. Dude, stop running the ball. You got one big... Okay, never mind. I'm not committing to this, though. He wants me to commit to this so he can pass on, man. I'm not going to do that. He's got Donald Penn at fullback. That's a pass. It's not a pass. Luke Keekley doesn't care what it is. Motion's one out. Handoff left side. Ray Lewis is there. Luke Keekley again. Luke Keekley is the best player on this defense. Fourth and two. It's ball game. He misses this. This is going to be a rage quit. I'm blitzing the edges, and I'm coming down Main Street. Oh, my God. I got it. <sighs> 
I thought I jumped that snap so perfectly that I'd get him before he could throw it. But nice pickup. He hits Trey McBride. If he keeps spamming these run plays, he's going to lose. Or wait a minute. He's spamming the run plays to chew the clock. That's smart, actually. All right, I'll admit it. I'm duped. I don't know what you got for me. You got Jalen Carter's second TFL is what you got. He is managing the clock well. I will say that. He needs his entire quarter to be out, and he needs seven points at the end of it. He's going to... Oh, you just threw into double coverage. Ooh, the read wheel again. Oh my God, that was caught. I thought Hamilton had that. All right, I get it, buddy. I get it. You're using the clock. Go! No, Keekly! Hey! Brian Bracey! <laughs> Dude, Keekly kind of whiffed there. Keekly kind of whiffed. Oh, wait, he's going to go RPO read wheel again. He's going to do that play again. Do I jump left side or right side? Left side. Oh, that's bagged! Oh my god, Gonzalez! I don't think I've ever played this good of defense, ever. Christian Gonzalez is bodying people. Hand off Derrick Henry. Juke it inside. Second and four. I want to put up a field goal here. Let's get Buck current range. I think a play action would actually work. He's seen so many runs. Beautiful. Who's home? Jamar! Big boy! No! I guess it's Ray Lewis. Does he have, a, like, a knockout or something? Jamar had that. All right, third and four. We're going play action again. No, he's blitzing Hendricks. I'm going to block Henry. I'm going to send Mike Evans over the top. Mike Evans. Free form. Sauce! Got his ass! Julius Blitz is cooked! I own you! I own you! I own you! Drop the 40 bomb. Tag that with that might have been a top, top five most disrespectful MMG moments. I sh <laughs> Oh my god! Alright, let's push this to 21 here. Damn. See, and then he comes out and just throws a dot on me. Like what where did that come from? I'm gonna send a hot one here. That's good prediction. Ooh, does he have me? Remember when we almost replaced Derwin James and I said Derwin James is playing great? That was damn close, though. Like, that was as far as he could go. Honestly, that ball is crazy underthrown. Jalen Waddle's coming back to the ball. That's a dog shit ball from Michael Vick. That actually, that was a touchdown. Oh, you know what? With five seconds left, we should stat pad Derrick Henry for the challenge wheel. Nine rushes, 84 yards, two touchdowns, 19 to zero. Ball at half. I've never dominated a playoff game like this before. All right, Jamar, here's your redemption, buddy. Nice catch. Let's get another fucking Panini Immaculate box. Press cover me again. Nakua, free form. Ooh, that's not in the end zone. Hey, I'm not in the end zone. All right, he's going to shoot the gap with Channing Crowder. We just got to cut it up. Oh, no, he's on Javon Holland. Shit, cut it up anyway. This is not fair. This is actually completely unfair. He's getting walked like a dog. See, guys, I didn't even need to open the Immaculate Box today because I was just about to earn it in this game right here. Damn it. I'm going to be honest. I counted the 38 because we were that close. I don't think I can count that. I probably would have done it at two. Like, I probably would have done this one, but the difference between being 14 points off and two points off, that's a rage quit in the wild card. A true, legitimate fucking curb stomp rage quit in the wild card. Absolutely monumental W for the boys right there. That's so exciting. Not only that, but the game's leading rusher was Derrick Henry. So we complete our challenge wheel. I could get one pack from the store. It could cost coins or it could cost training. There's not a lot of great stuff, I'll be honest. Best case scenario, I think, would be a backup middle linebacker. I do have a special offer for three times playmaker packs, and this costs coins. So I'm going to use this. So three playmaker packs. Not expecting a lot here, but the small chance at an MLB 2, I'll definitely take it. Ben Powers, Wims, Charlie Jones, trash so far. And we end with a blitz player. Is that, is that an upgrade? Oh, shit. Wait, what? Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. Do I have to bring back Gronk middle linebacker now? No, I want Gronk at tight end. Got two blitz players in that. 92 speed, 6'6". Six, six. He's kind of nasty. I'll probably put him at backup tight end instead of Vita Vea because Vita Vea is kind of sus sometimes. But Vita Vea can stay at fullback then where he's incredible. I mean, we saw it there. Vita Vea was damn good. So, Steve Avila is not an upgrade because my left guard's Russ Grimm, who we just got. But yeah, I think Luke Musgrave should be my backup tight end over Vita Vea. Vita Vea is funny, but I don't think he should be the guy. Yeah, let's go Musgrave. Put him in at this position only. Third string tight end can be Vita Vea. And Vita Vea stays at fullback where he's 94 overall. It's actually a nasty pull. And wow, this has been a hell of a season. 
for the get gooder wheel. We get a spin on the rage quit wheel for forcing a rage quit. I've seen this a lot recently. I love it, man. And we've been getting this a lot too, but 50k one player, more than enough for a very serviceable backup middle linebacker. A great option here is CJ Mosley. We've had him before, actually. He's a field general, so he's got well-rounded stats. He can cover too. 81 zone coverage. That's really what we're looking for. Just a well-rounded guy, 40,000 coins, and we'll put CJ Mosley in for Quay Walker. All right, boys. Absolutely stellar episode. 92 offense, 91 defense. I can't wait to see you guys the next episode where we'll be taking on the NFC championship. Love you, boys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.